There is a lot of moving pieces in the third episode of Miss Marvel. The ending definitely reveals that we are going to be getting more of the mystery and the history of where Kamala's powers come from, how it ties to her family, and how it potentially ties into a more important factor in the MCU moving forward. So ever since the first episode of Miss Marvel, we've been hearing about Kamala's grandmother and specifically how she connects to a couple of things in the past that her family really tried to get away from and really broke off all contact with the grandmother for. And of course, we've had a few hints towards uh, how she may or may not be tied to these powers and the bangle and everything. And we finally learn a little bit more. Essentially, she is one of the exiles from a forbidden land and a forbidden part of um, some sort of bigger mystery that somehow connects to the Kree. Now again, if you look at the comics, there's a heavy chance that they're pulling in Inhumans in here because that's really what it sounds like. But the one thing that really stuck out to me was, of course, the ending where we see Kamala as she's contacted by her grandmother and she says that, Kamala, you need to come here. You need to come and see me because when you had that vision, I had it as well. And this all ties to the opening of the episode where, of course, we actually saw a flashback to the bangle the first time her grandmother put it on, the powers manifesting, and, well, them being on the run before everything got out of hand and the clandestine, who are these other people slash djinn that are trying to get back home we're all separated and went their separate ways but now things are kind of leading to a crescendo event where everything's gonna come to a head if you will now if you guys would like all of our theories and what we think about the potential inhuman factor and everything we will be talking about this way more in depth in our audio commentary available to the avenger level tier members so hopefully we see you guys there But for now, let's get back to it. So with all this happening, at the end of the episode, we see Kamala as she's now fought the clandestine. And she thinks that she's gotten away and nobody's seen what happened except her friend. Well, her best friend, not Bruno, actually spotted her using her powers. And it's quite a shock considering that, well, a couple things went wrong in this episode. And obviously, she's already, earlier in the episode, blamed Kamala for some of the, uh, mishaps that have happened such as the department of damage control going after people at the mosque and such so there's definitely a lot happening here in terms of the personal life uh the best friend the best friends angle and everything and i can't wait to see just how this is going to play out in the next couple of episodes because there's a lot going on now it definitely picked up the pace from the first and second episode and you can tell that they're setting up that final stretch and the home stretch, if you will. And I just can't wait to see how it's all going to tie together and what the big revelation will be. Because there's definitely a couple hints here that, well, it's going to be important moving forward. 